Ευλογητός ο Θεός ημών πάντοτε νυν και αή και εις εις αιώνας των αιώνων. Σώσα ενέστη εκ νεκρών θανάτω θανάτων πατήσας και της εν της μνήμασι ζωήν χαρισάμενος. is risen from the dead by death trampling down upon death and to those in the tombs he has granted Ελέησον ημάς ο Θεός κατά το Μέγα λέω σου δεομεθάς ο επάκουσον και ελέησον. Ελέησον Κύριε ελέησον Κύριε ελέησον. Ετι δεομεθά υπέρ ούτε νευσεβών και ορθοδόξων χριστιανών. Κύριε ελέησον Κύριε ελέησον Κύριε ελέησον. Ετι δεομεθά υπέρ του αρχιεπισκόπου και πατρόσιμον Σάβα και πάσης εν Χριστό ημών αδελφότητος. Ελέησον Κύριε ελέησον Κύριε ελέησον. Ελέημον και φιλάνθρωπο Θεό υπάρχει και σε την δόξα να πέμπουμε του Πατρί και του Ιω και του Αγίου Πνεύμα την ίνκια ή και ίσω αιώνα των αιώνων. Δόξα τη Αγία και ομοσίω και ζώπιο και διαιρετό τριάδι πάντοτε νίνκια ή και ίσω αιώνα των αιώνων.
Ie miti thimosu elexis me, mi delton adviso parefsis me, oti de valiso eripagisan me, ke evestirixas sepe me tahirisu, o ke stiniasis en tisa krimo apo prosopo tisa orgisu, o ke stinirini en tisa steismu apo prosopo tina matiamu, oti e anamiemu i paridenti ke falimu, o si fotidron vari evrathitis en epe me, prososos en ke esapisen imolopismu apo prosopo tisa frosinismu, Et alli porisan ke kate kamfine vos de luz, olin tini mera skithro pauton e poreftomin, oti epso emo e plistisan e pigmaton ke uke stini asis en tista krimo, e kakotin ke et apinotin e os forda, odri omina pos tegramo tis kardiasmo, kiri enan dien su pasa ti epititimiamo ke os tegramosmo aposu u akapiri, i kardiamo e kataraksena ke te lipime i xismo, ke ton fosto o flamon mu ke aftu u ke stimete mu, i flimu mu ke i plicien mu, exenan dies mu igestan ke estisan, ke i egistan mu apo makrothin estisan, ke ex jevozondon i zizunte tsiksihi mu, ke i zizunte stakaka mi el alisan matiotitas ke doliotitas olintini mere emeletisan, e wazen u si kuthos u kikun ke u si aralos u kanikon to stomo aftu, Ke eia nomi uze anthropos uka kunge uge kontosto mati aftu elegmus. Oti ebisi kirie il pisa, si isa kuson kirio e theosmo, oti mi po ipote e pacharisimi i athimo ke onte selefrine po dasmo e peme e magalimonisan. Oti e woi is mastiga seti moske i aruma no pionmo e siria pandos, oti tine na miemo go anangelo ke i perime. Is a Matthias mu, i de kri mu zote ke kregateote i pere me, ke bithithis an i mizuntes mi adikos, i antetabuduses me kaka, antihagothin en divalon me, en pi katedio konagadesini, mi en katelipi me kirio theos mu, mi apestese pe mu, proces i dibu e diamu, kirie tisto tiries mu, mi en katelipi me kirio theos mu, mi apestese pe mu, proces kristin bu e diamu, kirie tisto tiries mu, O oh God, my God, early at dawn I rise to you. My soul thirsts for you. My flesh longs for you in a barren, untrodden, and unwatered land. So I have appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and your glory. For your mercy is better than life. My lips shall praise you. Thus I shall bless you while I live, and I will lift up my hands in your name. Let my soul be filled with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall praise you with joyful lips. When I remember you on my bed, I meditate on you at dawn, for you have become my helper. I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand has been quick to help me, but those who seek my life to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by the sword. They shall be a portion for jackals, but the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall be praised, but the mouths of those who speak lies shall be stopped. I meditate on you at dawn, for you have become my helper. I shall rejoice in the shelter of your wings. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand has been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Io Theos ti soteriasmo, i mere se ke ekrasa ke in nikti enandian su, i selto enopion su i prosefkimo, klino to usu i stin de istinmo, oti e plisin kako i psihimo, ke i zoimo to adi igise, prose luisi metaton katavenan ton islakon, e jeni thin use a anthropos, a voititos e nekrus elefteros, usi traumatie kathevontes en tafon, on uk emnisis e ti, ke afto ek tis herosu apostisan, e thenetum en lako katotota en skotinis ke en skia thanaton, e pe me, e pe sviritin o thimosu, ke pandas tus, menotismosu e pigaias e pe me, e me krinas tus nos tus mo ape mo, e thenetum me vlegvima e aftis, pare dothin ke u ek so por eftomin, u aflemomo, i stenis anapoto hias, e ke ekras apros e kirie, Olin tini mere di petes aprosta hias mu, mi tis ne krispi isis ta masia iena e triena tusis e ke ekstron isen desi, mi di gisete tis en ton tapo ton eleosu ke tin alithian su en tin apolia, mi gnothisete en ton skotita ta masia su, ke i di kosinisu en gi epililismenika wopros e kiria, e ke ekrasete 
και το πρωί η προσευχή μου προφάσισε. Είναι την κυρία απόσυνση ψυχή μου. Αποστρέψει το πρόσωπό σου απ' εμού. Το χώσε μη εγώ και εν κοπή έκνο ετετό μου. Υψωθήστε εν τε φινόθην και εξοπλίθην. Επεμεδίωθεν έωγρε σου. Η φαβρίσμη σου εταράξαμε. Εκύκλωσα μειούσε ο Ιδρων όλη την ημέρα διπέσχομαι αμά. Εμακρύνε έπε μου φίλεν και πλησίαν και του νοστού μου από τα λαπορία. Κύριο Θεό τη σωτηρία μου, ημέρασα και έκρεξα και η νύχτη εναντίον σου, η σάλτο ενώπιον σου, η προσευχή μου. Κλείνω το ούσου ει την δεησή μου. Κύριε Σάκουσον τη προσευχή μου, ενώτησε την δεησή μου εν την αληθία σου, Ισάκουσον μου εν την δικοσύνη σου, και μη εσέλθει στη Κρήτη με τα δούλου σου, ότι ου διακριθήσετε ενώπιον σου παζών, ότι καταδίωξε ένα χρο τη ψυχή μου, εταπίνωσε νησί στην ζωή μου, εκάθισε μεν σκοτεινή σε νεκρό αιώνα και κυβιάζει να πεμέ το πνεύμα μου, εν μια τεράστια καρδία μου, εμνήσει την ημέρα να κρέω να μελέτη σαν πάση τη εργή σου, εν ποιήμε σε τον χείρο σου αμελέτων. Διπέτεσα πρόσφατα τα σχήρε μου, η ψυχή μου όσοι ανεδρώσει. Τα χίλια στα κουσό μου, κύριε, εξέλπε το πνεύμα μου. Μη αποστρέψει το πρόσωπό σου από μου και ομοιωθεί με τι καταβαίνετε στην Ισλακών. Ακού τον ποιήσω μου το πρωί, το λέω σου, ότι πίζα. Νόρισο μου, κύριε, οδόν εν ύπροφτε με την προσεγίδρυ η ψυχή μου. Εξελούμεν εκ των εχθρών μου, κύριε, προσέ κατέφυγαν τη δεξό με του ποιήν το θέλημά σου. Ότι σι ο Θεό που το πνεύμα σου το αγαθόν ειδική σε μεν ενηθία. Ένα κέντρο να με τόσο κύριε ζήσει με εν την διοκρισίνη σου εξάξει σε κρύψε στη ψυχή μου και εν τον ελί σου εξολοφρεύσει του εχθρού μου και απολύ πάντα στου φλιβώντα η ψυχή μου. Ότι δούλου σου εμεί. Ισάκουσα μου κύριε εν την διοκρισίνη σου και μη εσάθη στη σφίτη με τα δούλου σου. Ισάκουσα μου κύριε εν την διοκρισίνη σου και μη εσάθη στη σφίτη με τα δούλου σου. Το πνεύμα σου το αγαθόν ειδική σε μεν ενηθία. Δόξα πετρή και ο και ο πνεύματι και νύν και αι και έσ του αιώνα των αιώνων αμήν. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Αλληλούια, 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 δόξα σε ο Θεό. Ο πίσημο κύριε, δόξα σε. Ελεγόμεν. Κυρία Λαϊσά. Ερσάνου την ειρήνη και τη Κυρία των ψυχών ημών του κυρίου Δεϊθόμε, κυρία Λαϊσά, υπέρ τη ειρήνη του σήμανο κόσμου, εξαρτία των Αγίων του Θεού Εκκλησιών και τη των πάνων ενό Θεού του κυρίου Δεϊθόμε, κυρία Λαϊσά, υπέρ του Αγίου Οικουτού του Χριστου Μεταπίστεω των 
Αβίας και φόβου Θεού Ισιών των Αναυτό, του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησο, Έρου του Αρχιεπισκόπου και Πατρός Σιμών Σάββα, του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου της Εχριστώ Διακονίας, παντός του Κλήρου και του Λαού, του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησο, Έρου του Έτου Σιμών του Προέδρου Πάσης Αρχής και Εξουσίας εν αυτό, και το καταξηράν θάλασσαν και έρημον στρατού, του Κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Λέησον, 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 Let us pray to the Lord. That we may be spared all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress. Let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, that the Otoko is never ever to marry with all the saints. Let us commit ourselves to one another and our whole life unto Christ our God. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Ονόματι κυρίου ημινά μην αυτούς σε όλους κυρίους και πεφανένι μην ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι κυρίου. Παρά κυρίου έγινε το αυτή και έστι θα μας την οφθαλμίσιμον Θεός κυρίους και πεφανένι μην ευλογημένος ο ερχόμενος εν ονόματι Κυρίου, πότε κατ' ουθείς προς τον θάνατο, το οποία θάνατος, τότε τον άδεινε νέκρος άστιας τραπής της θεότητος, πότε δε και τους εθνεώτας εκ των κατακτονίων ανέστησας, πάσε δυνάμεις των επουρανίων εκράβραζων, ο Τζαμπαντρί και η Οκία η Οπνεύματι, ο Ευσκήμονιος η Παπο του Ξύλου Καθελών, το Άχραντον σου σώμα, συνθόνι καθαρά η Λύσας και αρώμασιν, εμνήματι και νόητοι δεν σας απέρθετο, αλλά τριήμερος ανέστη Κύριε, παρέχον το κόσμο το Μεγά Ελαιός.
ποίηματος φραγιστήν εμίκηλε δίσας, την πέτραν της πίστεως αναστάς, παρές και σπάσι κύριε δόξασι. Surpassing every thought, all surpassing, glorious, O Mother of God, are your mysteries for while bearing the seal of purity and preserving virginity. You were deemed a mother in truth, for the truth God gave you birth. To him pray fervently, entreating that our souls may be saved. to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The women purchased ointments for your burial, and they came to your tomb very early in the morning. They feared the Judeans' overt hostility, and envisioned the soldiers' guard of security. And yet their weak nature prevailed over manliness, for their sympathetic sentiments were pleasing unto God. So opportunely they shouted, Arise, O Lord, and help us and deliver us for your name's sake. Τόση κυρία διδαξών με τα δικαιώματά σου, τον αγγέλο να δίμος κατεπλάκι ορόνσε εν εκρίς λογιστέντα του θανάτου δε σωτήρ την ισκήν κατελώντα και συνε αυτό τον αδάμε γύραντα και εξάδου πάντα σε λευτερώσαντα. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The myrrh-bearing women hastened early in the morning to your tomb lamenting. But the angel arose before them and said, The time for lamentation has ceased. Weep not, but tell the apostles of the resurrection. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, we worship the Father. 
Father, together with the Son and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence, and we cry together with the seraphim, Holy, Holy, Holy are you. Alleluia, 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 slava tebe, Boise. Amen. After the Passion, O Christ God, the women went to the tomb to anoint your body, and they saw angels in the sepulchre, and they were amazed. For they heard them saying that the Lord has risen, and granted the world his great mercy. Then doth leave us the mei sacuson mutod in on kiriasikraso.
upon them, and they considered fleeing. Then the young men said to them, Do not you be afraid. The one you seek has risen. Come and see the place where the body of Jesus lay. Then go quickly and tell the disciples the Savior has risen from the sepulcher. On April 26th, we commemorate the Holy Hera Martyr, Vasilev's Bishop of Amasia. On this day, Saint Lafrida died in peace. On this day, devout Saint Justice died in peace. On this day, devout Saint Nestor, who left his parents and became a monk, died in peace. On this day, the third Sunday, record from Pascha, we celebrate the feast of the Holy Mary and At the intercessions of the holy mayor bears, O Christ our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Let us thy say, O Simel, and Lambri for men lie, Pasca, Kiri, O Pasca, Egartana to Prozoin, Kegis Prosura, non Christos, O Theos, Imas de Evivas and Happy Nikki on other Christon of Sometha, the chaos in his Ilion, passing Zoin and Natalon. Tilthes and his cato tatis his his, Cassin and trips as focus on Ius, Catocus the pediment of his death. Et rimelos, os equitos iondas, ex anesti tu tapu. Προσκυνούμεν τον Κυρίον, αυτή κρίτη και Αγία ημέρα, η μία το Σαββάτον η Βασιλής και Κυρία, εορτών εορτήν και πανηγύρισε στην πανηγύρεον, εν η ευλογούμεν Χριστόν εις τους αιώνα. Let us pray to the Lord, for you are holy, our God, who rests among the holy, and to you we ascribe glory, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. found worthy to hear the Holy Gospel, let us entreat the Lord our God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. 
Wisdom, let us be attentive. Let us hear the Holy Gospel. Peace be with all. And unto your spirit. The reading is from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Let us be attentive. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. On the first day of the week at early dawn, they went to the tomb, taking the spices which they had prepared. And they found the stone rolled away from the tomb. But when they went in, they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, behold, two men stood by them in dazzling apparel. And as they were frightened and bowed their faces to the ground, the men said to them, Why do you seek the living among the dead? Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified, and on the third day rise. And they remembered his words, and returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene and Joanna and Mary the mother of James and the other women with them who told this to the apostles, but these words seemed to them an idle tale. And they did not believe them, but Peter rose and ran to the tomb, and stooping to look in, he saw the linen cloths by themselves. And he went home, wondering at what had happened. Αντίς με ισόπο και καθαριστήσω με πληνίς με και υπερτιών αλευκανθίσω με. Απόστρεψω το πρόσωπο των αρτιών μου και πάσα στα σανομίας μου εξάλιψον. συντετριμένων καρδίαν συντετριμένην και τε ταπεινωμένην ο Θεός σου και εξού δεν όσοι ο 
τότε ευδοκίσει τη Ιαν δικαιοσύνη σαν να βοηθάνε και όλα αυτόματα. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit through the intercessions of the Theotokos, O merciful one. Remit a multitude of all of our sins. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy and according to the multitude of your compassion wipe out my offenses. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Praise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies. Through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, by the power of the presence and life, giving cross of protection to the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and all audible apostles of our fathers among the saints and great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Bays of the great Greg of the theologian and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, John the Merciful, the Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Myra and Lycia, Spirit, on Bishop of Trimethus, and Agadius of Adopolis, the Water Workers, of the Holy Glorious and Right Victorious Great Martyr, Stephen the Archdeacon, George of Victorious, Demetrius the Myrrh Flowing, Theater the Recruit, Theater the Commander, Minas, the Wonder Worker, Caran, Lambos, Eleftherios, Cosmos, the Los Ignatius of Antioch, the Hyra Martyrs, of the Holy Glorious and Right Victorious Great Martyrs, Epimia, of the Allotable Pecla, Barbara, Anastasia, Catherine, Kiriaki, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, of our holy and God-bearing ascetic fathers, Anthony the Great of Themius, Paisius, Savas, and Ufrios, Athanasius, Athos, the Nisus of Olympus, Gerasimus, the New and Mary of Egypt, of our holy and God-bearing fathers, of the holy and righteous ancestors, the Lord our God, Joachim and Anna, and of the holy myrrh-bearing women of Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus, the disciple by night, whose memory we commemorate today and of all your saints. We beseech you, only merciful Lord, Hear us sinners who pray to you and have mercy on us. and love for mankind of your only begotten Son with whom you are blessed, together with your all-holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Let us honor and magnify in song the Theotokos and the Mother of the Light. I 
Save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. For all the powers of heaven praise you and offer up glory to you, to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
Ενίτε αυτόν συνεστίες από το ενίτε αυτόν κατά το πλήθος της μεγαλοσύνης αυτού πάσα πνοή και πάσα κτήσεις σε δόξα ζηκύριε ότι διά του σταυρού των πάνατων κατήργησας και να δείξεις της λαής την εκ νεκρών σου Anastasi, os monos filantropos. Τον εντι μάνο και χορό ενίτε αυτόν εν χορδες και οργάνο και έρετε λαί και αγαλιάστε άγγελος εκατισεν εις τον λίθον του μνήματος αυτός ημάς ευγελίζα το ύπον Χριστός ανέστη Εκ νεκρών ο σωτήρ του κόσμου και πλήρωσε τα σύμπαντα ευωδίας χαίρετε λαοί
Pascha mystical, a Pascha venerable, Pascha the Redeemer Christ himself, a Pascha that is blameless, a Pascha that is great, a Pascha of believers, a Pascha that has opened for us the gates of paradise, a Pascha that sanctifies the believers all. Apollon de Martoli, Apo Prosopus Teo, Kei Thi, Kei En Prantitosan, E Mirofori Gineke Sorzu Vateos, E Pistas E Prostomni, Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The women, of, the women with their ointment went with Mary to the tomb, and they wondered how they would attain what they desired. Then they saw that the stone had been rolled, had been rolled back, and a young godly man tried to quiet the disturbance of their souls. For he said, The Lord Jesus has risen. Therefore, preach it to the disciples and preachers, that they may go quickly to Galilee, and that you will see him risen from the dead as the giver of life and Lord.
δόξα σι το δείξαν τι το φω. Δόξα εν ύψη τη Θεό και πήγη σιρήνη εν ανθρώπη σα. Βασιλεύε πουράνιε θε, πατέρ πανοκράτορ, κύριε ημονό γενέση, σου Χριστέ και Άγιο Πνεύμα. Receive our prayer, you who sit at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. Each day we bless you, and we praise your name forever, and unto the ages of ages. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers. Your name is praised and glorified throughout all ages. Amen. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Ευλογητώσι Κύριε διδάξον με τα δικαιώματα σου. For to you have I fled, teach me to do your will. For you are my God. Extend your mercy to those who know you. Oh, holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Ευλογημένη Βασιλεία του Πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος, νυν και αή και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Christ is risen. 
Αρχιεπισκόπου και Πατρόσιμον Σάββα του Τιμίου Πρεσβυτερίου τη Ακριστό Διακονία, πανώ του κλήρου και του λαού του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. Κύριε Δεϊθόμεν, πέρα του ευσεβού Σιμωνέθου του Προέδρου, πάση αρχή και εξουσία εν αυτό και τα καταξηράνε θάλασσαν και έρημον στρατού του κυρίου Δεϊθόμεν. this parish and city for every city and country and the faithful live in them let us pray to the Lord fable well and abundance of the fruits of the earth and different seasons let us pray to the Lord for travelers by land sea and air for the sickness suffering for captives and their salvation let us pray to the Lord For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and distress, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theodokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our life to Christ our God. Πρέπει σε πάσα δόξα τιμή και προσκύνηση του Πατρί και του Ιω και του Αγίου Πνεύματι νυν και αι και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life unto Christ our God. For yours is the dominion, yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages.
Σώστον ελέησον και διαφύλαξον ημάς ο Θεός της ηχαρητήρ. Κύριε Λέησον, τον Αγία Σε Κράτου υπερευλογημένης σε δόξο δεσποινής ημών Θεού τόκου και υπερθένου Μαρίας με το απάντον Αγίου μη μονεύσαντες εαυτούς και έλειους και πάσερη ζωήν ημών Χριστό του Θεού παραθόμεθα. Διαγραφώς και πιλάντρο πως Θεός υπάρχει, συνδόξτε να πέμπομεν το πατρί και το ιό και το αγίο πνεύμα τι νικε αι και Ιησούς εονας τον εονον.
Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages.
Let us be attentive. Brethren, in those days, when the disciples were increasing in number, the Hellenists murmured against the Hebrews because their widows were neglected in the daily distribution. And the twelve summoned the body of the disciples and said, It is not right that we should give up preaching the word of God to serve tables. Therefore, brethren, pick out from among you seven good men of good repute, full of the Holy Spirit and of wisdom, who we may appoint to do this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. And what they said pleased the whole multitude, and they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and of the Holy Spirit, and Philip, and Prochorus, and Nicanor, and Timon, and Parmenas, and Nicolaus, a proselyte of Antioch. These they set before the apostles, and they prayed and laid their hands upon them. And the word of God increased, and the number of the disciples multiplied greatly in Jerusalem, and the many attentive let us hear the holy gospel peace be with all the reading is from the holy gospel according to mark let us be attentive At that time, Joseph of Arimathea, a respected member of the council, who was himself also looking for the kingdom of God, took courage and went to Pilate and asked for the body of Jesus. And Pilate wondered if he were already dead, and summoning the centurion, he asked him whether he was already dead. And when he learned from the centurion that he was dead, he granted the body to Joseph. And he bought a linen shroud, and taking him down, wrapped him in the linen shroud, and laid him in a tomb, which had been hewn out of the rock. And he rolled a stone against the door of the tomb. Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of Joseph, saw where he was laid. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, bought spices so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb when the sun had risen. And they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the door of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone was rolled back, for it was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe, and they were amazed. And he said to them, Do not be amazed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him. But go tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him as he told you. And they went out and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had come upon them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid.
Christos Anesti. Christ is risen. Christos Anesti. I was in Boston for three days, but it felt like I was in Boston for three months. I really missed being with all of you, and I'm very thankful to be back and to celebrate today, surprised with joyfully that Father George is here with us, that we celebrate today as an extended family brought together for a unique and sacred purpose. So as we gathered today and we heard the gospel, it really brought to my mind something I wanted to share with you about, a very simple subject, but a subject that we don't speak about very often, and that is the subject of courage. Tharos in Greek. Now, please keep in mind that when we talk about the various virtues, the Christian virtues, and we list them all, amongst them the spirit of repentance and joy, faithfulness, but do we really give a lot of emphasis to the subject of courage? Now, why do I mention this? Well, because we heard it in the Gospel today that Joseph of Arimathea took courage and went to Pilate to ask for the body of Jesus. And that has been playing in my heart all week. You see, because as I think about Jesus' last free moments upon the earth, he was surrounded by his disciples, and he was troubled. He was burdened. And he took three of them and said, Watch and pray. Stand by my side. So he went off to pray even deeper. He came back and he found them sleeping. And he was bothered by this. And he actually chastised them for it. He went off again and prayed more fervently, came back and they were sleeping again. This happened three times. And then we have, well, Judas came. And Judas, with all his boldness, walked up to Jesus and kissed him and said, Rejoice. The rest of the disciples, when they saw all those soldiers with spears and shields and chains, hightailed it out of there. They ran away. In one account we hear that one of the disciples pulled out his sword and cut off the ear of a soldier, and Jesus chastised him. Well, what could have been a better response? I mean, these men literally lived with the fountain of life so intimately. They were hungry. Jesus fed their physical hunger, fed their emotional hunger. There was blindness. He gave sight. There was crookedness. He straightened us up. He did all these things for us. They saw this intimately. They were there. They couldn't hide that. But when the going got tough, they ran. And even Peter, who was so dedicated to Jesus, who said, they may all flee you, but I'm not. Jesus said, you will deny me when the cock crows three times. And didn't that happen? When people amazed went up and said, I I'm sure you're one of those. And what the scripture said, Peter invoked a curse upon himself to say, I do not know that man. And then the cock crowed three times. Peter remembered. When Jesus was physically beaten and abused, and he was led to crucifixion, where were those men but hiding in the crowd? Hiding in the crowd. And finally, even at the crucifixion itself, Scripture says to us that out of all the disciples, only one was there. John. Jesus' mother was there, and there were myrrh-bearing women there, two to be exact, three, I'm sorry, to be exact, but the rest of the disciples, nowhere to be seen. Again, the Scripture says that Joseph took courage and went to Pilate. So here's what I'd like to leave with you this morning. We live in a country that no one, and I mean nobody, stops us from going where we want to worship. And though there may not be Orthodox Christian churches on every block, 
like in the good old countries of Serbia, Romania, Bulgaria, Greece, Russia, Ukraine, etc. No one stops us from going to church except ourselves. Nobody stops us from living out our Christian life. We could go to McDonald's, order whatever we want, sit at a table, and then do this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. And no one would arrest us, and no one would stop us. But I have this feeling that at times we are no better than the disciples when it really counted. That we have become Christians of convenience. Now I'm not saying that to judge anyone here because as you have heard me say many times to you, when I am honored by Christ to share the homily, I only see myself. I only am looking at you as a reflection of me. And why is that? Because unworthily as your spiritual father for 26 years, we have become but one. We walk together, we talk together. We actually at times think the same way, believe it or not. We have adapted ourselves to choose to honor and love one another and respect one another. But we need to do that more than ever now because the cost of being a Christian has gone up tremendously. And yes, it's in the Middle East. Yes, it's in Libya that people are persecuted for his namesake. And week after week, we are shown another sacrifice of Christians. And we even hear our politicians say, well, why, why aren't we doing something about it? Why aren't we saying something about it? My biggest question is, to my own shame, and I repeat, to my own shame, why are our churches not filled to the brim, praying for not only those who have offered their life voluntarily, but to encourage us. Because the time is coming and now is that we have to step up and be courageous. But no one is holding a gun to our head and no one is holding a knife to our throat. We're asked to be courageous in different ways and this is where we are failing. Yesterday, we've had a great opportunity, which we'll share with you later on, of going to school, those of us who are leaders of the community, to learn better about ourselves and the why we do things. Very emotional. At times, our presenter wanted to know, how come we weren't asking a thousand questions? How come we weren't wrestling with notions and thoughts? And I think, to be truthful, the majority of us were just shocked. Shocked at the reality that maybe we didn't have the why answered in our own lives. Why am I a priest? Why am I a priest still at All Saints? Why do you come to church? Why do you contribute your time, your talent, and your treasure? But not wanting to get lost on a side road, let me again stay firm on this. No one is threatening us to be Christians. But I have to ask the question out loud to myself and to share it with you. Do we need someone to threaten us to act like Christians? Do we need to have a crisis to raise the level of our spiritual maturity? Are we going to fill the church again in Christmas and leave it for the few who come in and out between that time and fill it again during Palm Sunday for our annual fish dinner and car decal, the Palm Cross? Are we going to joyfully wait for the food festival to get together and stand side by side with each other oh, over the friars, over the souvles, over the glicas? until 
the church needs us again, but never understanding that it's not the church that needs us, but we who need Christ and the church. Courage, my friends. During the rest of this liturgy, here's your homework assignment. Ask yourself, am I a courageous Christian? Would I have done what Joseph did? Would I go to Pilate and ask for the body of Jesus in front of everyone, in front of the soldiers, in front of the hideous crowd of Jews that would just beat upon the consciousness of anyone who would identify themselves as a follower of the Nazarene. Courage. Our parish needs courageous Christians. Our town needs courageous Christians. Our families need courageous Christians. Our schools need courageous Christians. Our workforce needs courageous Christians. And above all else, and in this I close, for my own salvation, I need to be a courageous Christian. Pray with me, friends, during this liturgy, and ask God to help you find your courage in Christ. Once again, we bow before you and we pray to you, O good and loving God, hear our supplication, cleanse our souls and bodies from every defilement of flesh and spirit, and grant that we may stand before your holy altar without blame or condemnation. Grant also, O God, progress in life, faith, and spiritual discernment to the faithful who pray with us, so that they may always worship you with reverence and love, partake of your holy mysteries without blame or condemnation, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. Grant that always guarded by your power, we may give glory to you. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages.
souls and bodies, let us ask the Lord. In nome que a fe si dona martion, que doblime alimato animon, para tu kiri ueti sometha. Grande es o Lord. La cala que si feron de despichesimon, kiri nito cosmo, para tu kiri ueti sometha. completion of our lives in peace and repentance. Let us ask the Lord. Christiana, the daily di zoe simon, and not in aine pes, ki da irinika, ki galin apologia, and in epitu foveru vimatos tu Christu, et isometha. Remembering our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and our whole life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. 
Και το Παναγίο και καθόξ βιώσου πνεύμα την και αε και Ιησούς αιώνας των αιώνων. Amen. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Let us be attentive. I believe in one God, Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not created, of one essence with the Father, with whom all things are made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven, and it was incarnate of the Holy Spirit, and the Virgin Mary, and he became man. He was crucified for us under Pontius Pilate, and suffered and was buried, and he rose on the third day, according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come again with glory to judge the living and the dead. His kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the Creator of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets. In one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand well, let us stand in all, let us be attentive that we may present the holy offering in peace. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. to sing to you, bless you, praise you, thank you, and worship you in all places of your dominion. For you are God ineffable, beyond comprehension, invisible, beyond understanding, existing forever and always the same, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You brought us into being out of nothing, and when we fell, you raised us up again. You did not cease doing everything until you led us to heaven and granted us your kingdom to come. For all these things we thank you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. For all things that we know and do not know, for blessings seen and unseen that have been bestowed upon us, we also thank you for this liturgy which you are pleased to accept from our hands, even though you are surrounded by thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, by the cherubim and seraphim, six-winged, many-eyed, soaring with their wings, singing the victory hymn, proclaiming, crying out, and saying,
these blessed powers, merciful Master, we also proclaim and say, You are holy and most holy, you and your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit. You are holy and most holy, and sublime is your glory. You so loved your world that you gave your only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him should not perish but have eternal life. He came and fulfilled the divine plan for us. On the night when he was delivered up, or rather when he delivered himself up for the life of the world, he took bread in his holy, pure, and blameless hands and gave thanks, blessed, sanctified, broke, and gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you, for the forgiveness of sins. Lavete, fagete, tutomu estito soma, doi perimon clomenoni safasina martion. Likewise, after the supper, he took the cup, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Piatex of tu pandes, tu to esti toe mamuta tiscanis the afikis, toi penimon kepolone kinomenon, is afesina martion. Therefore, this command of the Savior and all that came to pass for our sake, the cross, the tomb, the resurrection on the third day, the ascension into heaven, the enthronement at the right hand of the Father, and the second glorious coming. We offer to you these gifts from your own gifts in all and for all. Once again, we offer to you the spiritual worship without the shedding of blood. We ask for your be gracious. down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts you presented and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Bless Master. And that which is in this cup the precious blood of your Christ. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Especially for our most holy, pure, blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary.
of all, remember, Lord, our Archbishop and Father Savas. Grant that he may serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy for many years, rightly teaching the word of your truth. whom each of us calls to mind in all your people. Grant that with one voice and one heart we may glorify and praise your most honored majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. The mercy of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ be with you all. Having remembered all the saints, let us again in peace pray to the Lord. For the precious gifts offered and consecrated, let us pray to the Lord. Que no ero naftutis ya stirion, y sos mina for the espnematikis, and the catapem simin to the ancarin, que de doreanto a you pnev, matos de ifomen. Having prayed for the unity of the faith and for the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life to Christ our God. loving master our whole life and hope and we ask pray and entreat you make us worthy to partake of your heavenly and awesome mysteries from this holy and spiritual table with a clear conscience for the remission of sins the forgiveness of transgressions and communion of the holy spirit inheritance of the kingdom of heaven confidence before you and not in judgment or condemnation because exios unimas des but amen da parisies que te queritos and make us worthy master with confidence with without fear of condemnation dare call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. you created all things and by your great mercy you brought everything from nothing into being master look down from heaven upon those who have bowed their heads before you they have bowed not before flesh and blood but before you the awesome God therefore master guide the course of our life for our benefit according to the need of each of us sail with those who sail travel with those who travel and heal the sick position of our souls and bodies by the grace mercy and love for us of your only begotten son with whom you are blessed together with your all holy good and life-giving spirit now and forever and through the ages of ages.
Πάντοτενιν και αι και ει του αιώνα των αιώνων. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Having prayed for a perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless day, let us commit ourselves and one another in our whole life under Christ our God. To you. Thank you, loving Master, benefactor of our souls, and on this day you have made us worthy once again of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Direct our ways in the right path, establish us firmly in your fear, make, guard our lives and make our endeavors safe. Through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever-Virgin Mary and of all the saints. For you are our sanctification and to you we give glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever into the ages of ages. Amen. Let us go forth in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, bless those who praise you and sanctify those who trust in you. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Protect the whole body of your church. Sanctify those with the beauty of your house. Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us a hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to the clergy, to those of public service, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good and perfect gift is from above, coming from you, the Father of lights. To you we give glory, thanksgiving, and worship. To the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Please join us as we turn to page 164 of your red divine liturgy books and we offer memorial prayer for the departed servants of God, Judith Bulabasis, Salva Mary, and Michael Georgiou, and join throughout the world today the commemoration, the memorial commemoration of the 10 years of passing of our departed and most beloved Archbishop Iacobos, the last Archbishop of North and South America. Many of us have had personal contact and communion with our beloved Archbishop and we know from his character that he is alive in Christ as well as all those who have fallen asleep and they pray for us and especially for our parishes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. The choir of saints has found the fountain of life and the door of paradise. May I also find the way through repentance. I am the sheep that is lost, O Savior. Call me back and save me. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. 
statutes, image am I of your unutterable glory, though I bear the scars of my stumblings. Have compassion on me, the work of your hands, O sovereign Lord, and cleanse me through your loving kindness. And the homeland of my heart's desire bestow on me by making me a citizen of paradise. To the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, the threefold radiance of the one God, let us praise, let us shout in song. Holy are you, eternal Father, co eternal Son, and divine Spirit. Illumine us who worship you in faith and deliver us from the eternal fire. <laughs> Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Perfected in faith, give rest, O Savior, to the souls of your servants. Bestow upon them the blessed life, which is from you, O loving one. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You are our God, who descended to Hades. And loosen the pains of those who were chained. Grant rest also to the souls of your servants. <laughs> Mercy, most of God, according to your great mercy, we pray to you, hear us and have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again, we pray for the repose of the part of the servants of God. Iacobos, hierarch and celebrating brother in the Lord, Archbishop of North and South America, along with Judith, Salva, Mary, and Michael, who have fallen asleep for the forgiveness of all their sins, both voluntary and involuntary. Let us pray to the Lord. God of spirits and of all flesh, you have trampled down death and abolished the power of the devil, giving life to your world. You rest the souls of your servants who have fallen asleep. Iacobos, Hierarch, Archbishop of North and South America, brother and concelebrant, along with the Judith, Sava, Mary, and Michael, who have fallen asleep. In a place of light, in a place of repose, in a place of refreshment, where there is no pain, sorrow, and suffering. As a good and loving God, forgive every sin that they have committed, 
in thought, word, or deed, for there is no one who lives and is sinless. You alone are without sin. Your righteousness is an everlasting righteousness, and your word is truth. May your memory be eternal of a blessed and memorable brother. May their memory be eternal. May their memory be eternal. May their memory be eternal. to have a community meal, but it has a dynamic and unique purpose. The Maids of Athena, a local Greater Pittsburgh youth organization for young ladies of the order of Ahepa under the maids of under the daughters of Penelope, are having a breakfast in our parish today, but its purpose is dynamic. All the proceeds of this event will go to the new Saint Nicholas. Greek Orthodox Church at the footsteps of the New World Trade Centers and for St. Basil's Academy. I'm very honored to share that with you and very thankful for the act of love and kindness offered by these wonderful young ladies. Let us offer a prayer blessing for this meal and then we will have the closing of liturgy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and forever and unto the ages of ages, amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Holy Father, give the blessing. Christ our God, look down upon your people and bless the food and drink of your servants for those who have prepared for the sacred offerings thereof and for those who will receive <clears throat> always, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Let us pray to the Lord. May the blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to our God and our hope. Glory to you. May Christ, our true God, who rose from the dead, as a good, loving, and merciful God of mercy upon us and save us through the intercessions of his most pure and only mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, the protection of the honorable bodiless powers of heaven, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and foreigner John the Baptist, of the holy, glorious, and all audible apostles of our fathers among the saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers of the holy, glorious, and right victorious great martyrs of our righteous and God-bearing fathers of the holy and righteous ancestors of the Lord our God, Joachim and Anna, of our Father among the Saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople, whose liturgy we celebrated today, and of the holy and glorious equals to the apostles, the myrrh-bearing women, and of Joseph of Arimathea, and Nicodemus, the disciple by night, whose synaxis we celebrate today, and of all your saints, Christos anestiak nekron thanaton thanaton patisas, 
Κέτι σαν τη μήμα η ζωή είναι χάρη σαν μενό. Αλλιώ σαν έστει ο κύριο. Good morning, everyone. Christos an est. We're going to do a little something different today. Have a seat, make yourselves comfortable. For the next few moments, I'm presenting to you a gift. Someone gives you a gift. Of the first things you do is you feel a sense of surprise, a sense of appreciation. And we should feel that way because God is merciful, God is good, God is tremendous. For this weekend, our parish had the opportunity of going to school. Now I know some of you hearing the S word would be like, eh, school? But you have to appreciate. Now, this wasn't just any school. This was like going to a doctor who's your best friend, who loves you, who looks into your heart and throughout your body tells you exactly what the situation is, but filled with the grace of the Holy Spirit with hope. This man I'm bringing to you at this moment with the blessings of his Emmas, Metropolitan Saba, is renowned throughout the archdiocese, but for all the titles that he has, and he'll forgive me for not enumerating them, greatest of all titles is that he is a friend of Christ. That if Jesus were to stand and look at him in the eyes, he would say, Bill, Vasily, my friend. So I ask this man to come forward to offer to you the grace of God's love and inspiration for our parish. I want to begin by thanking Metropolitan Sabas for praying for all of us all the time. I want to thank Father George the Chancellor for keeping Metropolitan Sabas able to pray for us all the time. And I want to thank Father George the Protoperesbitor who invited me here today together with Brother Paul and Brother Jim and Brother Pete and Brother Nick and Ted, you know the girl. But most of all, I want to thank each and every one of you for being here today. I spend every available weekend traveling the country, working and talking with Orthodox parishes all over. And I have learned that if I do something from the beginning, if I tell you what my objective is, things are going to go a whole lot easier. So my objective can best be described by the story of one of my Greek ancestors, a guy by the name of Costa, who found himself in a train compartment in New York City, having immigrated to these, this country. And in that train compartment was one of those slick insurance salesmen. You know the kind, always trying to sell you something. Hope I'm not offending anybody. <laughs> Took a while for the salesman to figure out what he was going to do, so finally he looked at Costa and he said, I'll bet you $100 I can read your mind. And Costa looked at him and said, you bet me $100 you read my mind? Okay. The salesman said, you're a Greek immigrant, you've taken all your early possessions in Greece, sold them, converted them to cash, emigrated to the United States, you're now on a train on your way to San Diego. When you get to San Diego, you'll take all the cash you have accumulated, you will buy a closed down diner. You will then proceed to work 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 52 weeks out of the year, to build the most successful diner of anyone in America. At the end of a year, you will take all the cash you have accumulated, you will call me and buy all the property and casualty insurance you can afford. You will then burn the restaurant down, collect the insurance proceeds, and retire a wealthy young man. Whew. Well, Costa just shrugged his shoulders, reached in his pocket, handed the salesman $100 who smugly said, see, I told you I could read your mind. And Costa said, oh, no, you don't read my mind, but that information was worth $100. My <laughs> brothers and sisters, I hope the information I share with you today will be worthy of something. I want to ask you a question. I want to ask you what I believe to be the most profound question possible to ask you. Why are you here? Why are you here? And I don't just mean why are you here today. That's a very important question, but we don't have time for that. I'm asking you the question, why are you here on this earth? We know from Holy Scripture that we were made in the image and likeness of, now we say God, but when you actually read the book of Genesis, it's actually the plural that's used in the image of God, the, the Holy Spirit, and, and Christ. But let's keep it the way we've remembered it. We were made in the image and likeness of God. Take two seconds to look around. Look at the people next to you. No, seriously, go ahead and do it. They won't bite you. When you look at them, you are looking at God. 
When you are looking at them, you, when you look in the mirror, you are looking at the image and likeness of God. Now, raise your hand if you picked your parents. Nobody? Well, raise your hand if you connect, picked your genetic composition. Nobody? Raise your hand if you picked everything that happened in your life, both good and bad. Nobody? Well, isn't that amazing? Your creator makes you in him as his image and likeness, puts you on this earth, gives you an enormous number of different gifts, talents, charisma, abilities. For what purpose? Was it an accident of birth? See, I don't believe in accidents when it comes to our Lord. I believe it was intentional. I believe it was purposeful. I believe he has given to you a calling. An American humorist, Mark Twain, actually put it in an interesting way. He said, the two most important days of your life are first, the day you were born, and second, the day you figure out why. And that's what I'm asking you here today. Why has God blessed you with all the gifts he has blessed you? Christos Anesti. Y'all believe that? Or did you just reflexively repeat it because you were trained from a little kid? Christ has risen. We believe that. You believe that? That's wonderful. I'm glad she believes that. I hope you all believe it, But because here's what was really interesting to me when I did a little bit of research. There's a Harvard researcher by the name of Robert Putnam who wrote a phenomenal book called American Grace, How Religion Saves and Divides Us. And he did a nationwide survey, and what he discovered that in America, 80% of Americans believe in God, but only 52% of Americans believe there's anything after this life. Isn't that interesting? So the question is, do we believe in the resurrection? Because you see, there are a lot of great people that have come in and out of history that were born, that said something important, and died. But there's only one who proved a resurrection that we all witnessed, that we all hear, that was handed down to us from year after year. In, in page 16 of your hymnals, if you were reading along, there's a critical prayer in there that just always gets me. For a Christian end to of our lives, without suffering or shame, and here it comes, the big money moment, and for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. You see, what we learn from the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord, what we learn from our Holy Orthodox Church is that we will live forever. The only question is, will we like where we are? And so you have been given an enormous gift and blessing for all of eternity, for all of perpetuity. It's all there for you. It's all there out there. So what are you doing to prepare yourself for that holy and blessed day? See, God's given you these gifts so that you can do something with them. And nowhere clearer do we hear that message than in the Gospel of Matthew in the parable of the talents. You remember that story, those of you that were paying attention, right? So the master gives five talents to one servant, two to another one, one to another one. The guy who got the five talents put him out into the world, caused them to multiply. The guy with the two talents, same thing, put him out there in the world and caused them to multiply. What did the guy with the one talent do? Y'all remember? He buried it. And, and what, I'm fast forwarding through scripture, it's a very important scripture passage, I'm giving you the Bill Marianne's Cliff's Note version. We learn that the master came down, my word's not scripture's word. He said, fool! I didn't give you these talents so that you would bury them. I gave you these talents so that you would put them out into the world and cause them to multiply. And to those who had done that, what did he say? Well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful over little. I will set you over much. Kingdom of heaven, do you understand the enormous responsibility and power and authority you have been given with all of the gifts you have been given? See, I have a real simple message. I get a real simple definition of stewardship. I'm a simple country lawyer from Atlanta, Georgia. So my definition of stewardship is, it's what you do with all the gifts God gave you. It's real simple, it's what you do with all the gifts God gave you. You see, it's all about you, but it's really all about God. So what do you, some of you are great teachers, some of you are great coaches, some of you are great carpenters like our Lord, some of you can, can help other people. What are you doing? What are you doing to put those gifts at work right here at All Saints Church? Now, 
as I go around, people say, well, well, Bill, do you have any secrets? Do you have any secret tricks and techniques that you can share with us on how to do this? My brothers and sisters, I do. The secret to living a life of a good steward is winning with Keno. You heard me, winning with Keno. No, not the gambling game. I'm talking about Kipchoge Keno, also known as Kip Keno. In the 1968 Summer Olympic Games in Mexico City, an unknown Kenyan runner by the name of Kipchoge Kino was a finalist in the 1500 meter race. It didn't matter because he was running against the legendary and heavily favored American Jim Ryan, the first high schooler to break the four minute mile. Kip Kino won the gold medal, set a new Olympic record, won another medal in the 68 Games, came back in the 1972 Summer Olympic Games in Munich, won a silver medal in the 1500 meters race, and then at the age of 32, when most people had retired from running, he entered a race he had only run four times before in his life, the 3,000 meter steeplechase. He had the 28th best time amongst the field of finalists. Bless you. Fathers, take it easy. I'll do the blessings today. Yes, kid. So this guy has got the 28th best time in the field of finalists, and he's entering the race he's only run, and it's 3,000 meters. What in the world was he thinking? Funny thing, though, he won a gold medal, won other medals, actually turned pro and retired from his pro running career having earned the whopping sum of $20,000. Went back to his native Kenya, bought a farm, started raising his family, and started accepting orphans. To this day, Kip Kino and his wife have, have raised more than 100 orphans who par whose parents died of AIDS. And when they asked him, why are you doing this? He humbly said, I came into this world with nothing, while I am here, I must share the love and do what I can. See, my brothers and sisters, there is a man that is preparing himself for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. There is a man that is living a righteous life. There is a man that is taking whatever gifts God gave him and being a good steward of it. But that's not the story I wanted to tell you. See, the story I wanted to tell you was about the time that Olympic champion Kip Kino and yours truly, Bill Marianas, ran together in an Olympic relay event. Some of you are laughing at me. Father, you got some doubting Thomases over here. The year was 1996. The Summer Olympic Games were held in a sleepy southern town in the United States called Atlanta. I was honored to be chosen as a community hero and given the privilege of carrying the flame of our ancestors for one kilometer in the Olympic torch relay. And as they gathered the Olympic torch relay runners together to get us on the buses to set us one kilometer apart, I noticed there was an African-American gentleman standing off to the side by himself. So being the shy and reserved person that I obviously am, I went up to him and I said, hello, I'm Bill Marianis. And he said, hello, I'm Kip Kino. I said, are you the Kip Kino? He said, I think so. <laughs> so they put us on the bus and they're setting us up one kilometer apart so that when the Olympic flame comes to us, we light it and we run our kilometer. It was deadly silent on the bus. We were all nervous. After all, I did not want the headlines in the next day's newspaper to read, Greek American trips, falls, and extinguishes the flame of his ancestors. <laughs> I did not think that would be a good message. So as we're sitting there in quiet solitude, I figured how many chances do you get to learn from an Olympic grand champion? So I said, Mr. Kino, how did you go about winning all these medals? And most importantly, at the beginning of the race, what did you do to keep yourself from being nervous? And he very humbly said, every race I entered, I always set out to win the gold medal. So I took the entire race and I broke it down into 100 meter increments. And for each 100 meters, I would plan what did I need to do, what were the other runners likely to do, what the course was going to look like. And thus, at the beginning of the race, the only thing I focused on was the first 100 meters. I said, Mr. Kino, when the race is halfway over and you're starting to get tired, what do you think about then? He said, I would cause myself to think of nothing but the next hundred meters. Well, my brothers and sisters, I'll tell you, I'm a slow learner. So predictably, I said, Mr. Kino, the race is three quarters of the way that's over. You're fine, you're tired, you're fatigued, your muscles are aching, the sun's beating on you, the people are chucking for position. What's going through your head? And he said, oh, y'all are as slow as I am. No, just teasing. He said, I would cause myself to think of nothing next hundred meters. There you have it, my brothers and sisters. The secret of living a righteous life by focusing on the next. 
lofty goals for yourself, win gold medals in righteousness, in the way you live your life, in the use of your talents, but don't get discouraged by all the craziness things that comes around us. Focus on the next 100 meters, the next day before us, the next task before us, the next thing we could do here at our church, and you will achieve what you set out to achieve. And when I talk about using your talents and stewardship, I really mean everything that God's given you. And that includes, by the way, your money. From the time I was five years old, I went to church with my Yaya Bessie. And my favorite time of the church service was when it was over. I mean, let's face it, if you're an ADD kid like me, it's an awfully long service. But it wasn't just because it was over, it was because that was when the magic gold bowl appeared. The parish council members would come out with the magic gold bowl, and people would put in huge sums of money. I mean, I was five years old, 50 cents, a dollar. It was amazing to me. And as the bowl would come around, my Yaya Bessie would pick up her purse. It always seemed to smell like mothballs. And she'd open it up, and she'd reach in there, and she'd pull out a crinkly old dollar bill. It smelled like mothballs, too. And she'd hand it to me, and in so doing, my Yaya Bessie was teaching me what we learned in 1 Corinthians, that every Sunday we are called to bring our first fruits to God's holy church. And so, of course, when I had children, I wanted to do the same thing. So the tray would come around, I'd give each of my kids a dollar, they'd put it in. I mean, sometimes Alexis folded it up into a paper airplane, but it always got in there. And see, I thought I was doing a great thing. And then all of a sudden, I realized I had forgotten one thing. One word it has three syllables. The first letter is I. That word is inflation. Let me break it down to you. That dollar bill that my Yaya Bessie gave me in 1960 is the equivalent of $8.02 in today's dollars. And thus what I realized that every time I was only putting $1 in the tray, I was actually cheating God and his holy church by $7.02. And what was worse is I was cheating my children to cheat God and his church to the tune of $7.02. And that's only inflation. Let's talk about proportional giving. My yeah, a Bessie Greek immigrant. The best she could ever hope to do was work at my papu's restaurant. To her, that one dollar was a significant portion of her income and net worth. To us, that's a soft drink. It takes four and a half of those bad boys to get a triple bente, two sweet loan, non-fat latte at Starbucks that we like to drink. Now, my brothers and sisters, I want you to think about that for just a second. I want you to think about it the next time the tray comes around. I want you to think about whether or not you are as good as your Yaya and Papu, or you're not. See, it's your choice. I want you to think of how you've been blessed. I want you to think about how many riches God has given you, and I want you to reflect on that before it comes around. There was a Greek Orthodox guy that was fussing after church. I know that would never happen in this community. But this Greek Orthodox guy is fussing to his son after church. And he says, you know what? That service was way too long. That, that voice dominant talk way too long. The lines for communion were for way too long. It was too hot, the choir was too loud, the psalty went on and on and on and on. And so the son finally looked at him and he said, well, dad, it wasn't all bad. I mean, it was a pretty good show since it only cost you one dollar. <laughs> My brothers and sisters, how has God blessed you? What has he given you? And what are you doing with it? The simple question I always ask is, what are you good at that your church could use? What are you good at that your church could use? See, if you think about what you're good at, you'll begin to find the intersection of God's blessings to you and what you have practiced. And whatever it is, I don't care. Put it to work here at All Saints. Put it to work in the metropolis of Pittsburgh. Put it to work in our holy Greek Orthodox Church of America. Do something with those gifts so that you too may have a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ. As I go through the country and I tell the story, every once in a while some folks will come back at me and they'll send me an email about something that they got inspired to do after my talk. If you want to, you can send it to me, bill at stewardshipcalling.com, or just send it to Paula, he'll get it to me. There was an older man who was a retired businessman. When I asked the question, what are you good at, the church could use, he said, I can talk to cancer patients. And I know what to tell them, because I'm a cancer survivor. And when people came to visit me, they said all the wrong things. I know what the right things are. And a new ministry was started at that church that had never existed before of visiting cancer patients and heart patients and hospital patients. And, and, a, and a young girl who listened carefully as I was delivering this, this stewardship testimonial sent me an email afterwards and said, you know what, I went to a homeless shelter as part of my school activity and I saw there were some young kids in that homeless shelter and my heart broke given all the gifts that I've been given. 
I'm going to go volunteer at that homeless shelter. And there was a postman who said, you know what, I can bake, bake bread. I, I do a good job baking bread. And he started a ministry at his, parents, at his parish where they bake bread and they give it to homeless shelters. Last week, they made their 1,008th loaf of bread that was delivered to a homeless shelter. What are you good at? What are you good at? What are you good at that you can do to prepare yourself for a good account before the awesome judgment seat of Christ? I end by letting you look in the mirror, assessing the gifts God gave you, leave you with the words of one of the most powerful handicapped people you ever met in your life. Her name is Helen Keller. She once said, I'm only one, but still I can't do everything, but still I can do something. I will not fail to do the something that I can do. My brothers and sisters, for God's greater glory and for your salvation. God bless you and Godspeed on your journey. As we are passing the parish stewardship tray, our announcements this week are very simple. They're in the bulletin. They're clearly written, full of direction and guidance. This weekend, we have the annual Frank Saris Memorial Golf Outing. So we hope that you would be uh, in any way possible supportive, present. If you can, pray for good weather for us. We also want to welcome a new member, a new steward of our community. Ari from from Canada. O Ari sine o anipsios ti Sebastián Cupiaris. Ari is the nephew of Sebastián Cupiaris, the cousin of Foti, and uh, we welcome him. Newly moved into our area, so we hope that God will bless him, that he will have a fruitful life with us. O Theos mazi mazi suyemu efkomenane i diamonisu edo yemati megie keftihia. I think we've covered everything. Enjoy this wonderful day the Lord has given you. For those of you who have already given from your hearts, please come forward. for a moment please all right so some of you know this wonderful young lady her name is Michaela Michaela had entered the Holy Orthodox Church in our parish while being a student at Washington and Jefferson well Michaela surprised us this week 
by telling us that she will be transferring to Kent State University starting the fall. So this is Michaela's last Sunday as a regular participant of the All Saints Parish. So please embrace her. She'll come back as often as she can, but I will say it for her, she enjoyed very much the fact that she found Christ with all of us here. Her parents appreciate it, and so do we. Thank you, Spirit.